This video is still dealing with similar triangles, but now we're going to move on into similar triangle word problems. So there are a lot of types of similar triangle word problems that you're going to run into, but the one that you see here is the most common. It's called indirect measurement using right triangles. So you use something that you can measure really easily, something you can reach, something you can use a tape measure for, and then you use a similar triangle to measure something that isn't so easy to reach. In the case of this problem, it's a flagpole. So look at the problem. A flagpole casts a shadow 32 feet long. A person standing nearby casts a shadow 9 feet long. If the person is 6 feet tall, how tall is the flagpole? All right, so it's not really that easy to measure a flagpole, but it's really easy to measure a person. And it's easy to measure a shadow because shadows are on the ground. Okay, so this is an example of indirect measurement. So you have some steps to follow in how to do these, how to solve them. And your first step, the most important step that you will ever remember when it comes to these word problems. Step one, draw an example. Draw a picture. Draw a diagram however you want to say it. You must draw it so that you can see it. You don't want to try to make it make sense. Draw it so that it does make sense. All right, so I've got a flagpole. See, I'm even gonna put me a little flag up here. And it casts a shadow 32 feet long. Where's the shadow at? When you're standing outside, where is your shadow? Your shadow is on the ground, all right? So the flagpole and the shadow make what type of a triangle? A right triangle. All right, so we have a flagpole and we know the shadow is 32 feet long. And I can connect the top of the shadow to the end, I'm sorry, the top of the flagpole to the uh, end of the shadow and I have a right triangle. Then it says a person standing nearby cast a shadow nine feet long. All right, so I got a person. So I'm gonna draw a person. Best thing I can do is draw a stick person. That's all I got, I'm not a drawer. This person is six feet tall. And the shadow is nine feet. So look, we have two triangles and we can use these two right triangles to solve this problem. We need to know how tall the flagpole is. That's our X. This is an indirect measurement. These are two similar triangles. Once you have the drawing set up, you should be able to solve this with absolutely no problem. So your second step is to use the proportion method or to use the scale factor method. So you need to use method to solve. Use method of choice. We'll say of choice to solve. Now you know which one I like. I'm going to use proportion method. So I have x over 6 equals 32 over 9. Third step. Cross multiply and solve for unknown length. All right, so I get 9x equals 32 times 6. 32 times 6 is 192. I'm going to divide by 9. 192 divided by 9 gives me 21.3. The answer is that the flagpole is 21.3 feet tall. The other common one is one like this, an enlargement or a reduction, a photo measuring 4 inches wide by 5 inches long. So I'm going to do my first step. I'm going to draw it 4 inches wide by 5 inches long. Okay, you can see it, is enlarged to make a wall mural. So we're enlarging it. It's going to be a lot bigger. If the mural is 390 
inches wide, so it has to be corresponding to my 4. How long is the mural? That's my x. We do this the same way. 4 over 390 equals 5 over x. 4x equals, let's see, 390 times 5 is 950. Divide by 4. x equals 487.5 inches. And that's your introduction to word problems. We're going to keep working on these for about the next week, so be ready. If you have any questions, always ask in class. Do the questions that go along with this video right now before you forget.